Hello everybody and welcome on today's video. Today we are going to do some work on this little uh, carpines tree. So if you remember this tree um, from previous videos, um, last year we did some uh, grafting here. So we have a branch starting from, uh, from this point and it's going all the way down and it's emerging here. So I don't think the graft uh, is uh, quite uh, okay, but I'll have a, a look. There's another graft starting from uh, this branch, this one, and this branch is uh, dividing here, here, and I guided this in the uh, in, in the hole I made. This is a little bit section, it does not matter. So this uh, goes way up to here. It is constricted by this. And then it comes up to here. And it's already here now. So this means that this, uh, well, this branch is still alive, but not uh, completely fused maybe. So I'll have a look at this. And then another thing I need to do is I air layered this uh, tree. So this is one of the babies from this one. It's, uh, but I cannot do a lot. So let's just check the, the grafts before the tree starts growing. So first uh, I got to remove uh, some of the wrapping. I don't think this is quite used yet but hope you can see gonna remove the raffia apply some fresh one just realized you couldn't probably see anything from this angle so just move the camera so the question is is there already fusion because grafting and fusing it's the same uh, the same principle well I didn't think that something would happen but at this point I feel that one part seems to fuse already this is quite fast I must say yeah this is already fixed here at at this side but not completely and the, the wound is not uh, closed so something I just need to fix again so we have now new uh, fresh uh, raffia here round to this uh, graft and let's move up now so this this is where the branch grows um, here of course I have this strange uh, thing happening where one graft is held together by this and then we have raffia under it so I, I have to fix this to get the one raffia surrounding everything so that we have a nice little branch here growing which is uh, in my opinion very good because the whole purpose of all this grafting is that this branch that is emerging from this spot should be removed one day because it is the branch that gives uh, some perspective it is a back branch if I remove it now there will be a whole uh, a big gap here which I would not uh, really like and so the whole purpose is to have some uh, new branching from this little graft to fill uh, this branch later eventually or this one so I have already one two and maybe a third candidate here so so to get the story going at the branch comes up to here we have a big plastic here which I will remove immediately okay and then we have raffia here on this graft 
and I don't think that I'm going to remove this well yeah, I'm gonna remove it anyway I want to see what's going on so as you can see the branch is still where it should be but I can still get it out so that means that it is not really a fuse well, it is not fused at all so I'm going to put it back, but first of all, I'm going to uh, make some uh, incisions in the cambium that has formed already. The reason why I do this is because when you have a um, open little wound, the tree will react by trying to close that as fast as possible. and just cutting back a little piece is going to speed up the process instead of um, slowing it down and another interesting thing is that now I can see where the living tissue is and where the dead tissue is so of course you will only have fusion where there is living tissue and that's up to this point so just uh, yeah it's, the living tissue is where you can see some green uh, obviously that would be here so I'm going to make the incision and reinsert the branch and then uh, put raffia on it there's a, a big difference between grafting um, like I do and what is the real grafting like I could call it when you take just a piece of, of branch and uh, insert that in a wound this is a really complicated technique and I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't try it because something you have to learn from something who knows it and guys that really know how to graft well they, they are quite um, sparse so what I'm doing is really something that everyone can do because it is very easy it's just taking a living branch and put it put it elsewhere and just make the, the cambium uh, from one part and another touch and fuse so there's really no secret to this it just takes some uh, patience And there's really nothing to understand about this. Patience and compression. Those are the key words for grafting this way. So I'm, I'm, I'm leading this branch very high and it can grow freely because if it grows freely... Can you see it? Yeah, you just can see it. If it grows freely it's gonna thicken uh, real quick and... Well, that's what I want. Okay, the last graft now. So the branch comes from here, goes all the way down, and then enters the cambium at this point, which is a, not really my favorite graft, but what can you do? Because this is all uh, dead wood. So the only living part I have is here, so that's the only place where I can uh, possibly graft something. So I'm going to remove this all. So while I was removing the the raffia, the branch jumped right out of the of the graft. So I, I think just because this one is doing so nicely, I'm probably never going to use this. And uh, well, I'll get rid of this uh, horrible going down branch here. So I think I'm just going to remove that up to here, like so. And this will make my tree a little more um, beautiful. 
and this way I can fix the last uh, graft that I started with so this is done um, now just a little uh, spring trimming uh, what I'm going to do is do some directional pruning this means that I'm going to have a look at where the buds are pointing at and I need always uh, facing outward buds uh, as you see some of these uh, branches this is a graft did very well um, some of these branches have been allowed to grow freely for one or two years but now really need to be pruned back because we need to start the ramification so that's exactly what I'm going to do this is not a, a real complex work it's just looking at the buds trimming back everything a little If you want more ramification, it is always interesting to remove the terminal bud on every branch. If you want a branch to thicken, then you should let the branch go. But removing terminal buds will give you more back budding. So this is a fairly easy process. Um, there's this guy in Canada, you probably know him, because if you found my channel, I'm sure you found his. It's called Nigel Saunders. He likes to style all of his trees uh, with um, this technique of uh, clip and grow and then directional pruning. So there's a whole lot you can learn from him. Uh, this, uh, of course, I'm not going to trim. This is the, the graft at the back. So yeah, if you want to learn about directional pruning, I recommend this channel. And if you see this, Nigel, greetings. So this 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 branch is going well inwards. So don't want branches to grow inwards, so I'm going to get rid of some of this stuff here. Nice bud here, and then a crossing branch. So let's get rid of the crossing branch. You can always remove some buds by just pinching them. So as you see I'm trimming some of the branches back quite hard. And just because well on carpinus trees you can do that, they will back bud very easily and make new buds on older wood. So it's, it's if you want some ramification that's what you should do. Uh, you, need, you, you want uh, to have some um, tapering as well as uh, on your branches as well as your trunk so a thick branch will divide and then divide again and divide again and you have to cut back always just to go from thick to very small and you should not be afraid to cut back This is, this is okay now you can always cut back some more eh? that's no, not a big difference uh, not a big deal 